everybody it's Tyler here aka highlighter graphics and this is part five of the tutorial on YouTube um, today I think we're gonna be doing retouching and maybe lighting if we get to it, it doesn't take as much time but uh, the last one was color corrections and if you haven't seen any of the other ones I recommend checking them out first but uh, anyway so we're just gonna get right into this one. Um, basically, a retouching is making your design come to life and making it more dramatic. And um, one way you can do that um, is I'll turn the color corrections off so I can see better. But the one way you can do that is for the player. You want to make them the center of the piece. You want to make them the center of attention. You want people's eyes to be drawn right to them, not something in the background. Although you definitely want people to look all throughout your piece, but you want him to be the, the main attention spot. So one way you can do this is um, what I normally do is you click on your player PNG, you hit Control J, or you right click and do uh, duplicate layer and this is going to be the retouch and what you want to do is come over here to your little tools you're going to come to this to the burn and dodge tool that's what we're going to be using or you can choose O which is the shortcut for this so we're going to start with the, the burn and what the burn tool does is it makes the layer that's selected darker like the, the places you paint it's like I'll just show you right here. If I select underneath his neck, this makes his neck darker and the shadows make it look like it's there. Or if I want it. Or you don't even have to do it where it looks like it's dark. You can make your own. Like you can make his arms dark over here. Or do whatever you want. But, so yeah, you come over here. You right click. To choose burn or dodge. Um, so we're going to use burn. You want to start out with a decent sized brush not too small like this I mean you could do that you can do that later but you want to start off with a de decently big brush um, I'm gonna use like 200 so basically what you can do is just wherever you see the dark spots just burn that so I'm gonna do that you can see a little bit under here I'll zoom in a little bit So basically where I see any dark spots, I'm just going to burn it there. And this really makes your design more dramatic. It makes the player um, look more, not realistic, but it just gives them a different feel. I'm just going to do this because it's kind of bright. But just after a little burning, you can kind of see the difference. And that's just the shadow part. And what you can do up here, th the exposure here is how much it affects. If you raise it to 100%, it's going to be really dark. But um, the lower you go, the less of a difference it makes. Like you can see here, 27%, down here at 100, there's more of a difference. It's better to go smaller with a lot more um, touch-ups and everything. So, and you got your shadows, mid-tones, highlights here. You can make your highlights burn, or your shadows or whatever. I just normally stick with mid-tones. But anyway, that's burning and dodging. It's not for the dark spots, but it's for the, the the bright spots for the highlights on the player. And anywhere you see a highlight, like you can see up here on his forehead, on his shoulders here, anywhere you see a place is bright, you want to do this. So you just click it like you're painting with a brush or whatever. And I normally, even though their face doesn't have it, I normally brighten their face up a little bit. So it's a little more visible. But... So, 
After just a little bit of retouching, you can see the difference it makes. And uh, this is good for lighting too, because say you have a light source coming in over here, and you want this side of him to be bright, but you want this side to be dark. So you can just come over to the dodge and make this side brighter and come to the burn this darker over here. Uh, you can either do that or what you can do is you can create a new layer, get a brush, get a soft brush. Well, it doesn't actually have to be soft. I'll use a hard brush right now. But, um, oops. So you want to, if you want to do, um, shadows on a player you just come over and paint wherever the shadows you want to be and I know it doesn't look good now but it will and then you want to come over to the layer that you just painted on and right click or press alt or control however you get this pop up and you want to go down to create clipping mask and what this does is when you select it it only paints on the layer that's below it so if you release this clipping mask it'll be on all the layers you can see it's on the background and on the floor but if you create the clipping mask and you disable this it also goes away so it's only on the layer below it and what you do after this you come up to filter, blur, and go to Gaussian blur. And this just tones it down a little bit. You can either just do something like this, or let's say that that's good. But you say, oh, that's too dark on his face. Well, you can either get an eraser and erase this part, turn down the opacity, or the yeah opacity on the eraser, and do that or what you can do is create a layer mask and that's down here this uh, circle inside a rectangle and what this basically does is it's the same thing as using an eraser and stuff but if you don't want it you can change it back so you want to click on this click on the white layer here and basically anything that you see is white on this will show up anything that's black with a black brush will not show up so um, for these shadows if I don't want some I just get a black brush you can change the opacity to whatever and acts as an eraser and you want to get on a soft brush but it acts as an eraser so wherever you put a black wherever you draw black it'll be an eraser and say I don't know there's a certain situation where somebody you're doing a design for somebody and they don't like that well you can just get a just paint this white and it'll come back and this really comes in handy it's a good tool to use but um yeah I, I'm not gonna use it for this delete layer mask but anyway so that's one way you can do lighting and everything so the retouch that's basically what I do and sometimes I'll do the background like there there's not too much here in the background like for the, the court I may dodge up here but you want to you do this after dodge like up here for the light source and everything that's gonna come in um, but you want to do that after you get your light sources and everything and uh, you can see the before and after of it with the color corrections it's, it's really dramatic I think maybe his neck is too dark here too so let me fix this so there's the retouch there's before it and it really makes your design more dramatic makes it come to life and uh, yeah I think I think that'll be it for this so like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.